Hey guys, AJ and Bruce here from 3D Printing Systems. Today we want to talk to you about one of our newest pieces of technology, the Moonray 3D Printer. Alright, so tell me Bruce, tell me a little bit about the printer. What are some of its best uses? So the, the Moonray is really good for the dental and jewelry markets, as well as if you're doing model making. So if you imagine you're an animator and you want super, super high resolution prints, right. Moonray is for it. So what type of technology does the Moonray use? So the Moonray uses DLP. So typical FDM printers have, you know, a roll of plastic and right. they melt the plastic and squirt it out. Uh, DLP or SLA uses a liquid resin. So here we've got a whole lot of bottles of juice. Um, and this uh, resin is cured under UV light. So that might be a laser beam or a, um, a projector. So this has got a built-in projector which projects the entire layer uh, at a time and then cures that layer uh, into a solid. So with one of these small models here, I know it's quite high resolution, but with SLA this might take an hour or so, wouldn't it? So would DLP do a similar sort of time frame? Yeah, so DLP would also take around about the same time to print one as yeah. well. So what about doing multiple? Because again, with SLA I know that it takes a long time because it's doing a laser for each one. It's probably the easiest way for me to explain that is show you on the print bed. So you mentioned SLA taking an hour to do one, Yeah. right? On DLP, we could do as many as we could fit into the bed. Being careful not to drop them in the liquid below. Um, yeah, so we could have fit as many as we can on this bed and the print time would also be one hour. So why would it be the same amount of time if we're doing multiple? I thought it'd be maybe 20 times if we're doing 20 of them. No, because the thing is, that's the advantage of DLP, it exposes the entire layer all in one go. So whether you print one or a hundred or fifty, there's no time difference. So depending on what you're doing, this could be much more efficient at doing multiple items at once. Especially if you're doing lots of, if you're doing production. So if you imagine if you're in the dental industry and you're doing uh, lots of sets of teeth. Right. Uh, you could print, fill up the bed as many as you like and do production parts. All right, so let's have a look inside the printer. Show us what, it's, uh, what we're working with here. All right, take off this nice sexy cover. So it's quite simple really. You know, FDM machines got a lot of moving parts, X, yep. Y, and Z. This has only got two axes. So this is the print bed. Um, the models must stick onto this because it is okay. printing upside down. It's like, it's like growing the models out of the, the liquid. Right. So parts must stick onto this, otherwise they'll fall in the liquid. Right, so the liquid is just down here underneath? Yeah, so we've got a clear resin uh, loaded at the moment, um, and this just slides out. Careful not to spill anything. So, I don't know if you can see, but there's clear resin yep. inside there. Definitely some liquid rolling around inside there. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is very sticky, so you know when you are working with a resin, you just want to wear gloves. So yeah. the nice thing with this is uh, the resin tray is reusable, so you have these uh, reusable um, sheets that you put in here. Right. Um, so if the sheet does get damaged, uh, you simply just buy clear sheets. Okay. Without having to buy an expensive tray if this gets damaged. Cool. And changing materials as well or changing liquids, pretty straightforward. Yeah, nice pouring, pouring spout, pour, right. pour that out, clean it with some ice, isopropyl alcohol and put in the new resin and you're good to go. And you've got tons of different types of resins here, don't we? Yeah, so um, let's push that in. So yeah, we've got all different types of resins. Um, you know, there's, there's medical versions, there's, you know, lots of different colors. Uh, you can also um, use some your own colors and okay. mix colors and blend your own colors. So yeah, and the machine can use open materials, so you're not locked yeah. into um, the, our materials as well. Awesome, so you can go out and try different types of things. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you told me briefly that we can use lots of different materials, all right, but let's have a look at some of them because some of them are really interesting. So this castable material. Yeah, so castable, what we can do is we can um, print the castable material. So the castable material is much like, acts like a wax. And then what we do is burn that out using investment casting and then you've got your metal part, so a stainless steel part. Much cheaper than direct metal 3D printing. So a high-res metal part, but for cheap. Yeah, awesome. yeah, so it's really good. Cool. So what else have we got here? Because I've seen some more ones. So we got uh, this flexible material. So do you have any examples of that? Yeah. Awesome. A little heart over here. 
all flexible. Oh wow, it is squish, really flexible, isn't it? Squish that down and uh, yeah. And quite durable too. Very durable, yeah. Awesome. And then we've got, so one of the colors is clear. Yeah, nice clear parts, as you can see our little rooks. Um, gives a beautiful finish, translucent, really nice for some prototyping. Does look really nice. And then the rest of them here are just various colors of the rainbow. Yeah, various colors. There is also a medical one that we'll be getting later as well. Okay. So uh, FCC compliance as well. So that'll be quite interesting. All right, so what are the different models of the Moonray? So we've got the Model D and the Model S. So this is a Model S uh, version. So yep. for your general prototyping, you'd use this. Model D is, the Moonray D is really for the jewelry industry or dental. Um, so where they require very, very high precision, uh, high detail parts. So um, build volume wise, you've got the, the S is 130 by 80 by 200 high millimeters. And uh, the D is 95, 96, and 200 high. So the D has a smaller build platform, but does higher resolution. Yeah, that's because the, basically the, the, the projector is focused to a smaller space, right. and we can get a finer XY resolution. So on the D, we get 75 micron on the X and Y resolution, right. and the, the S has 100. Okay. Yeah, so, but both machines do 20 micron on the Z height. It gets a bit technical and complicated. Right. Uh, but yeah, if you're in the dental industry or jewelry industry, the D does give you superior quality. Right. So thanks from us here at 3D Printing Systems. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, keep an eye out for any projects coming up and we'll do some more Moonray videos for you too. And if you want to see anything, if you want to, have you got any projects you suggest, or you want to see any quality prints, Put, the, put it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share up this video, and we'll see you later.